Uh, other areas of safety, and this is where I give our little plug for boomer anchors. Um, look, yeah, you've got in touch with me and yep. said that you wanted one. Why? Well, when we went up last year, we had a bit of trouble with um, with anchoring. Uh, there's a few good deep deep areas up there, and between current and uh, the, the condition of the floor, uh, the riverbed floor, yeah, um, anchoring was an issue. We couldn't anchor with uh, you know the other Dan Forth, yep, typical yep. Yeah, sand anchor, of, uh, yep, sand anchor and thing. Uh, so we did drift. So that limited us a little bit um, where we could fish. Yep, uh, because we did we tried a few of the, a couple of the deep holes and same to same result. We, we drifted out of there all the time. So yep. I wanted to try something a bit different. Yep. Which is your anchor. Yes, yeah. And I've done a bit of research on uh, on the YouTube on there, some of the work you put on there, and I was pretty happy with um, with the way that it does perform. Yep. So I thought, give it a go this year. Yeah, so. that's great, mate. No, thank you very, mu for the, very much for that. Um, this anchor is, I'm very proud of it, obviously. One of the hardest things I've found is to sell anchors to your mates. Yes. It really is, you know. Um, you don't want to, you know, let them down, I suppose. Uh, this anchor, one of the things that we used last year is there's actually a feature in here, <coughs> excuse me, that you can actually open this anchor out to mud mode. And you get about 25% more holding capability in mud. I'll see the fellow that took the tr took the, the boat up last year, he used a boomer anchor and he was amazed with it. He, yeah. You can go onto our YouTube channel and you'll see what that anchor was doing last year, um, you know, and he was very impressed with it. Yeah. And he's done a lot of fishing, that guy. But more importantly, <laughs> is all, uh, <laughs> you've got some refreshments I see here, right? but I'm a bit confused at why we have to take Pinot Noir, mate. What, squealing pig, is that what they call this this stuff that, from New Zealand? True, that one's a that <laughs> brand, the squealing pig. Uh, we uh, made a wine that's come in with us as well. Um, in the early years, we did a few trips over to New Zealand, um, just travelling with our wives and came across the New Zealand Pinot Noir. And um, For there, we've drunk it ever since. <laughs> our choice of, of red wine. Um, <laughs> So there's a plug for Squealing Pig, Pinot Noir. <laughs> and with our trip last year and again this year, uh, instead of taking bottles up because yeah, they're yeah. very roomy, take, you know, they take a lot of room up bottles and yep. funky, so we've gone with the travel pack. Excellent.